Hey guys, here's a quick tip for those of you that are using Photoshop for blog posts, web pages, whatever the case may be. A lot of times when you have a featured image, uh, a lot of times, you know, clearly it'll be full size like it is here on Church Mag where you have the truth behind narwhals. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the trending posts, the ones all you guys are commenting on, and it'll take that featured image and it'll automatically crop it into a complete square. Now, depending on the WordPress theme you have, the featured image, it may or may not crop it. It may crop it to a different dimension. Uh, depending on where you're sharing it on social media, a lot of times it'll crop it to a thumb. And so to make sure that, uh, oh, also your related post plugins, a lot of times will do that. Depending on what plugin you're using for that, it'll take that that wide screen image and it'll it'll crop it to like an Instagram perfect square. And sometimes when you when you create a custom graphic, it'll it'll butcher it up. And so what I've what I've done and I've been trying to do with especially the, the, the features we have, like um, Rachel Bloom's A Dutch Girl's Guide to Becoming a Better Writer. What I did is I created the, I added these these Photoshop guides, okay? So I have the, I have the full size image of how it'll look on the post, and then I have kind of the imaginary what if, how will it look when it's cropped? Kind of like you see with film, when they're shooting, they have the extra line, so like if when this goes to DVD and is on a different, size video screen what will it look like at least before there was widescreen te televisions um, so it's really easy to do and let me show you how you can do it and let's start with a brand new file let's say that your featured images or your your the top of your post you like to have 800 by 500 so we'll use 800 by 500 you go over here to your rectangle tool and you create yourself a um, perfect rectangle which if you hold your shift key and do it it'll automatically make it perfectly square. So whatever size you want, it'll auto snap to the top. Let's transform it and make it top to bottom, All right? So it's we have a square that's exactly 500 by 500. And again, you have where it automatically snaps into place. And so it's perfectly in the center. We have 500 by 500, it's completely in the center. And to add our guides, we just click over here in your uh, the, the ruler and you can you can adjust that if you don't have rulers you can go to I think view and you can or window or somewhere don't know off the top of my head where it's at but anyway you, oh yeah there it is rulers or um, looks like command R for the Mac look at that you can toggle them on and off such a pro not really but seriously so if you click here and drag over your guide it'll lock into position right there and it'll lock over to position here and you delete your fancy square and ta-da you've got your guides now you notice I had more guides it's because I'm like way too uptight and so I want to look symmetrical <laughs> so there you go now you have your guides and when you're designing you can kind of keep that in mind of where it might be cropped so you don't cut off important words or maybe you want to center your image just so sometimes it matters sometimes it does it just kind of depends on what you're doing but i thought that was kind of a a cool use of guides hope you thought it was awesome as i did